but I think we will try to push through all these tonight. I mean, it didn't help that I got a little stuck on that first uh, cafe interaction. But alright, part of three derivation. More trains. I think they've all started at a train station because the violinist went out to the mountains. Anyway. I think this is a train. My train. This is my train. You're drunk. Yes? <laughs> We're all drunk. What is your point? We've been drunk for hours. Didn't you notice? Okay, now what's this? We'll see our friend Theodorov. We've been saying goodbye since. What is today? He's not going anywhere unless he boards the train. Would you like some help with the steps, sir? Leave me be. I'm perfectly capable of climbing a couple of steps. Bye, chums. All right. Is the train moving? Ha ha ha. Uh, would you like me to take your suitcase with you, sir? Uh, very well, if you insist. All aboard. All aboard for Wiener Neustadt. Again, that's Wiener as in Vienna. Not wiener. We got a snoozer. Or they look a little younger now that they're on the train, but I don't think that was the guy from the cafe yet. There's the cafe. Or later that afternoon. lady. Excuse me, I am looking for the radius. I am not sure I understand, madam. Mathematician circle. I'm working on this theory I've maintained. And what would a young woman like you want with such an august group of gentlemen? Um, I must speak to Professor Zahler. I must speak to Professor Zahler. Professor Zahler cannot be disturbed while later in session. It's very important that I see him. I'm sure you may think so. All right. Well, we're dealing with sexism right off the bat. All right. But no one disturbs no one disturbs the radius while they're in session. But, Madame, this is a cafe. There are patrons lining up behind you to eat. In that case, I would also I also would like to eat. Please show me to a table. Certainly. If you will step to one side, I will see that these people who have been waiting so patiently. Then I will seat you. Eat shit and die, nerd. This is going to be like kind of a montage, isn't it? With slices of dealing with bullshit. Okay. Door with ca that Okay, that's the radius. That's... Is that the bathroom? I gotta investigate. Lavatories. Yep. I doubt the radius meets in there. You never know. Ah, oh, the radius. I'm glad the waiter didn't try to stop me. That's the mathematician from the left of the table. All right. No one's all this week if you've got the room. Madam. Oh, fuck this asshole. You cannot be in here. This is a private gathering. I am here at Professor Zaller's invitation. You must be mistaken. These are mathematicians. As am I. Please announce me. Okay, it's not Lovelace. It's Benichek. My name is Reknichek. Or we're just recounting this whole afternoon in her head as she's climbing these stairs. Well, to understand that, the solution is child's play. Yes, we have dined. You know better than... Regnicek? I don't recall... What's up, motherfuckers? Professor Zahler, I'm a mathematician like you. I wrote to you regarding Dane's recent proof about Hilbert's third... Problem? See, my brain's going to the Hilbert Guide, which is an early and still relatively robust guide for ship build, uh, ship builds in Star Trek Online. Different Hilbert, I'm guessing. There's some mistake. This is a private discussion of higher ma mathematics. My letter. Name dropping, young woman, is not going to get you anywhere. Mathematics is a complex subject entirely unsuitable for women. The brains of domestic, not like, fuck this guy. Please escort this woman out to waiter. 
see that we are not interrupted again. There, you see? Do you want to get me fired? Please leave at once. Mathematician, like me. Ho oh, I don't know why I went Rus Russian-esque, Slavic with the accent, but... Look all y'all. So you carry a knife, start stabbing. I think the couples knew. I don't think they were there when I was there earlier. Milady? Uh, now we're probably back at the stairs segment. All right. Well, we got little girl in my apartment. So I'm Nicole. I've just moved into the suite on the fourth floor. What is your name? I'm a re re uh, re re I can. I'm not gonna be. Well, I might figure it out by the end. I'm sorry. I'm bad with. I think that's Polish. Or related. I live behind that door you're blocking. My parents are in France. I hate my governess, Frau Schmoll. That's all there is to know about me. Alright. I'm sure that isn't all there is to know about you. Well, I'm nine and my parents are always gone. My father travels all the time for work, and my mother goes with him. Why don't you go, too? Oh. They say I'm not strong enough and I need to keep up with my studies. It's time for your music lesson! I need to go before Frau Schmoll finds me. Good luck. It was very nice meeting you. I'm glad you'll be my friend. I don't think I signed up for that, but okay. A little hand in the middle is ruining the shot. I like how they spun off the math theme that kind of came up in the last one, but we both with the table of mathematicians and the um, the banker bringing up his math skills. Well, me bringing up math skills with the uh, banker, I should say. Well, I guess we have my apartment or my apartment, so we're going to go to my apartment. There was a hole here. Now it's gone. state of change can be maintained, I'm sure of it. But how can I prove it? More Star Trek Online stuff, because the, the wave thing is how you uh, scan for materials. Ugh. Mathematician like me? Ha ha ha. Dudes do not in fact rock. Yes, I am just a woman, but I have a new idea. No one will listen. No one cares. It is the sign for woman equals zero. Thank you. It's the beginning of the proof. I know it is. There has to be a solution. We got blackboards. So we'll probably keep thinking with that. Uh, the radius was supposed to help me. Oh, someone's at the door. I didn't even get to state my problem. My clothes only take up one side. Hello, Emma. A chair. Can we do some more? I don't know how to continue. Okay, so now we have to open it. Quick chat. Oh, is this Schmoll? Yes? Oh, bargain for Emma, right? Right, 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 That is me, thank you. From the hospital. Uh oh. That sounds like belongings. I can't use the blackboard, so. What's in the box? Oh, you're gonna make me open it too. A letter. Dear Fraulein uh, Reknicek, we regret to inform you that 
Okay, I thought it was like husband, but your father, Jan Reknicek, succumbed to tuberculosis early Friday morning. Okay, that's a good tear effect. I like that. As you are aware, his illness was not responding to treatment, and this is the inevitable outcome. I wanted to assure you that he passed peacefully in his sleep, and just the previous evening, his thoughts were of you. We know you share our belief that he's gone to a better place, where his suffering is finally at an end. TB's a bitch, y'all. Was a bitch. Still not great today, but not as common a problem. As you know, your father requested his clothing and personal effects be kept for you. We have therefore included them in this box. You have our sincere condolences for your loss. In sympathy, Johan Klinger, senior physician. I'm reading it as her like it's her reading it out loud. Sanatorium, Salisbury, Australia. That sanatorium as in like more of a health spa thing than it being synonymous for uh, an insane asylum, as some people have used it. It's your fault, Father. You raised me to believe in myself. You believed in me, but now you are gone. What good is it if no one else does? Don't you just want to go ape shit? A few hours later? Do some sad math. Is that another knock or just environmental noises? I just noticed the clouds are kind of moving a bit. That's cute. I need to put his things away. Nice segue. The next morning. I wanted to hang out for a bit. That was a really nice segue. I can't make any headway. It's no use. It's no use! I have to get to the library. I'm late already. Maybe I could think more clearly. If I wasn't drowning in memories. Papa. Still don't know how to continue. Father left me his clothes. Are we going to play dress up later? Another chair. Do a little infiltration. I think it was kind of implied in the trailer, but I didn't really notice. Or is there any new uh, places to check out tourist-wise? Parliament? I don't think it was there before. People are already looking at me strangely. Yeah, the first chapter we were out in the country, so we didn't have the chance to do any tourism. And you can now. Ever fewer ship ships traverse it now. Oh, well, it'll actually let us go back. I gotta go to work. Before every time the guy's apartment came up, um, it uh, it wouldn't let me in. So that's why I wanted to check. Oh, Hofburg's a thing too. Okay. So yeah, we're just gonna do all the side locations first. It's very quiet in the rose garden. Sometimes it's nice to just sit down and relax. Where you see a couple of uh, lipids on her. Anything else? Now again. Our boy in the last one did the cathedral. Wait. Or a 
guess our barracks are gigantic. Pixel hunting. Good parliament. I feel like maybe you only get tourist once. Or maybe it won't pop till we go to the library since. Wait, is there something else besides the Volksgarten here? Oh, okay. All right, yeah, let's just go to the library. I'm gonna see if anything else pops up in between. Okay, pretty. Yeah, any university library. Ah, she's still working on stuff. This could indeed be the correct beginning, but how to continue? How to observe functions of change? Uh, maybe I've overlooked something? No. I'm returning boys' own adventures? It was so exciting. Pirates and soldiers and mountain climbers. Your book is overdue, young man. I'll be too Cronin. Sorry. Thank you. Good day. Hmm. A small boy swallowed some coins and was taken to the hospital. When his grandmother came to see how he was, a nurse said, no change yet. Can I just become a comedian? Why can't I see it? A state of change. That's like... That the like I, I love trains. It's a, a cooling pretzel fresh out of the oven. Uh well we had the leaf thing during the thing, so let's go. I feel like that was a hint. It's a fitting image. Excuse me? Is this a good book on gardening? My roses are being difficult. The Art of the Formal Garden by Carl Dorn. Yes, madam. Professor Dorn is a noted botanist. Uh, nothing I try is correct. I just don't know how to continue. Almost done with work for the day. Maybe I should get something to eat and just try again tomorrow. Yes. Some food from the market should change things. He's reading a physics book. Okay. Anything else about it? I don't think he understands too much of what he's reading. That man is a regular. That row of books runs parallel to the exit of the library. We only put books there if they are not very valuable. That's the row for books on biology. That's the row for books on chemistry. That's the row for books on physics. All right, we can leave. Anything else? Look outside. Oh. My desk, not much else to it. Oh, I can't check out my cool lamp. I'll quickly put these away. All right, finish your job, then we can leave. Half an hour later. I mean, depending on how many books you had. Just don't want to get yelled at for not finishing the job. I just want to go home, but I need something to eat from the market. else open up here? Probably not. Although we couldn't go to the market before, so that could also be a required new addition. Let's go. Barbara Heron mode? Okay. Huh. I could have sworn this was the way to the market. I wonder. Oh, we're gonna do a cross dress. 
Then we can't be mathematicians. It's possible I could fool them. But how could I? Father, your clothes. You left them to me. Oh, Father, you left them to me. Bruh. I don't want to take a look around anyway. We do uh, for a lady of my age to enter unaccompanied. Okay, so maybe we can come back after we play dress up. Work the leaves into the background there too. I love that. I love that. Oh, the cafe is probably where we should sneak into the mathematicians again after we get dressed. Spinam? She wanted to get something to eat, though. I'd like to dine. Of course, I will show you to a table. Oh, well, I'm glad I didn't get blacklisted. Mm. Alright, feeling fed. Can we order a coffee? Seems worried. Sitting with another man, but they are not speaking one word with each other. Ooh, that's a lot of coats. I estimate 11. I wonder whether, they, whether they've ever considered evaluating political systems. To improve upon pre-existing systems. Oh my god! It's your boy Lenin. I don't know if that's Car Carl right there, but it could be. Good old Vladimir Ilyich. What are you doing? What are you doing here? Father for savories to cake. Closer fe features shapely men and rugged women, as the audience expects. No change there. Yes? Oh, it's you, madame. Would you like a piece of cake? We have... It would be easy to let myself be tempted. Oh, No, thank you. All right, then. The boys! All right. Then may I bid you a good day, madam. All right. So we're going to play dress up. We'll try the market first to see if they'll let me in the shop unattended. And it's probably better to test fire it before we go visit the, um, the radius anyway. Put Papa's clothes in the wardrobe. Maybe the radius will help me if I pose as a man. That's the hint brick. Nothing else I can interact with, so. Papa's clothes. I can use them to pose as a male mathematician. And finally get access to the radius. Let's see. Oh, I definitely want to go with the jacket, because the coat looks a little femme. Trousers. You like trousers? Pants will do nicely. Do a shirt. Um, kind of feeling the vest. Don't think that fits the outfit. That's fine, then. Okay. Oh, necktie. Excellent. I need something to cover my hair. Cool hat. Put my hair into the hat. Glasses? Yes. These would make me harder to recognize. Uh, jacket? Absolutely. It's a bit big, but I think that'll work. Oh my god! She's the other mathematician at the table in the last chapter. The one that walked out. Oh, that's so good! That's so fucking good! I can leave the outfit on these chairs. I can shave my hair to look like sideburns. Fantastic. Yep! That's the guy! Hello? Who? I have it. Hello. Emil. Yep. Tomorrow. 
Tomorrow I'll leave the radius speechless. I don't know... Um... I forgot, I forgot what Emil said his last name was. That's awesome. Oh, well, moist. Now, the radius will receive Emil. I could try getting past the Maitre and into the radius. Okay, you can swap on the fly. That's kind of cool. And I guess to work at the library, we need to switch. But I'm going to try going in as a meal to see if it changes anything there as well. Oh, we actually made it to the market this time. Yes, would you like to buy some meat? Is that a pig's head? It is, yes. Are you squeamish? Of course not. Would you like to buy it? Oh, um, no. I'd like to buy some meat. Uh, oh, sausages, absolutely. Some sausages, please. All right, now we have sausages. Wow, some really tasty looking taffel spits. Just the part of a cow or calf that connects the tail with the hip. Really tender and with a bit of tasty fat, but it's far too expensive. Giant bright orange winter squash. They don't taste like much, but you get multiple meals out of them, so I like them. Feel that? How about some hearty vegetables there, hair? Uh, what does it say on this blackboard? Oh, geez, what does it say on this blackboard? Oh, is that readable? I thought that it was very well written. It says 125 grams of chaterelles for 50 heller. Uh, maybe the glasses aren't my prescription. And I had 250 grams of bullets for one krona. Thank you. See, thank you. But why the potato drug at the top? Potato? That's a... That's a mushroom. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see what you have there. Get the squash. Oh, the sausages were one of the specials. Nice. I think we were maybe there was some cheap for getting all the specials. The bread is so dense you could use it as a weapon. Yes, I'd like to. Speak up, dear. I would like to buy something. All right, what do you want to buy? I, um. Pretzels were mentioned earlier. Let's do it. Yeah, I don't see a notice on the board. Uh, look at this pig. Use. Uh, your mouth. Th your mouth doesn't move when you talk. How do you do that? Well, he's a rigorous trading. I don't even need to blink anymore. Always vigilant. Always at the ready. Go to hell. Oh, the flower vendor's actually here. Would you like to buy some flowers, my heir? I've got several on sale of the show to make your lady swoon. Thank you, but no, I'm just browsing. Oh, it's Klimt. Well, are you selling some special paint? My name is Gustav Klimt. I'm sure you've heard of me. Herr Klimt, what an honor, but... Sadly, I already sold my paint to someone else. I love that that comes up again. I'm very sorry. What? Who did you sell it to? Well named Mark Air. Oh. Oh, very well. Can I just leave you with anything else? I have... No, no, it's all right. Got an achievement for that, too. Small, shiny stone of crystal. Okay. Oh. My dear, welcome. Can I help you? What exactly are you selling? I sell all kinds of useful things. Cures, ointments, and curiosities, for example. Maybe I could interest you in this exotic powder. Ground bone of a colorful beast. It invigorates and rejuvenates. No, I. The effects are well worth the price. To be blunt, this sounds very weird. Do people actually buy this? My dear, no need to be rude. I assure you, men of all walks of life buy, uh, walks of life, buy from my stall. Hmm. Well, if you're not going to buy anything, please make room for customers to do. It seems like we pass. And we got some sausages. Actually, do things change if I go to the locations as a dude? 
so many statues and monuments. How's Athene? Woman right in front of the building, but not one inside of it. Social commentary. I like that the clouds in the corner have changed the fog with the weather, too. It's a nice touch. I probably should have done. No, they do Hofburg first, then we'll do the barracks. I wonder if Lip is Honor was one of the items at the, uh, the bakery. I might have effed that up. Whatever. We're also barracks are gigantic. Any more comments on the canal? I think that was it. The flow of the river was changed. So the floods would not destroy the city. Alright. Well. Let's bring by the library real quick. Then we'll hit up the uh, cafe. So I feel like the pullover might have been more appropriate for boy mowing. Oh, hey. Anatomy of the Lambricidae? Lambricidae? That's the row for books on biology. What do you call a fish that operates on brains? A neurosturgeon. Hey! Would that even work in other like non-English languages? Have you heard of the one about a chemist who was reading a book about helium? He just couldn't put it down. Uh, oh, oh, oh. books on physics. What's the name of the first electricity detective? Sherlock Holmes. Uh, I mean, the librarian's desk. Okay. Wreck the check, always messing with my system. Excuse me? Yes, yes, what is it? Uh, I was wondering whether you have the book. Tricky trigonometry. I'm sorry, we don't have that one. It's complicated. Anything else? That's for the other books. Um, every week a problem? 52 mind bending problems for the mathematical mind? We had it, but unfortunately it's Lent. Anything else? Uh, elusive Epsilon? Yes, we have it. But unfortunately, can't seem to find it at the moment. Because it's elusive. How are you today? Oh, fine. But oh, my colleague, I wish he didn't mess with my system all the time. Very careless. Maybe I can help? I don't think so. Unless you can see how the system is supposed to work. It all seems random. It's not random. Just increase the numbers to six, then start counting at zero again. What? Go ahead, I'm sure it's right. Really? Good goodness gracious. That makes much more sense. Thank you, Herr. Shell. My pleasure, Hugo. Um, how do the... Uh, oh, well, no matter. Have a good day, Herr Shell. You too. Alright. Anything else? I'm just browsing. Have a good day. I appreciate that they gave him a stutter. Just this kind of like, you know, some people in everyday life are going to have speech impediments. Alright, let's go for it. Good afternoon, sir. I believe you are new to our cafe. How can you tell? Oh, I never forget a face. Extraordinary. Well done. How may I assist you? I'm Emile, um, Shell, a visiting mathematician from Berlin. I thought I must introduce myself to the gentleman of the radius. Berlin? How wonderful. Unfortunately, you are the first to arrive. What do you suggest? My dear sir, of course you are welcome to wait for them in the back room. Did you see the door? Ah, the radius, yes. Very clever. Ha! I thank you. Oh, so the couple are new. They're arguing. Uh-oh. She noticed me. No more room for my coat. Then again, I'm not so enthusiastic about removing a layer. 
Oh, Bridge Club. Surely we wouldn't be allowed to join them. I wonder if we can come back and play cards if we change. But I don't want to waste the opportunity. Yes? Would you like some coffee? Yes, please. No milk, no sugar. Certainly. All right. Coffee time. Oh, it has quite the kick to it. Oh, fabulous mustache. Cake check. I like a piece of cake once in a while, but my teeth ache just looking at these. Same. I'm not really interested in theater. There's enough dress up in my life as it is. I see what you did there. Hmm. One state changes into another, but how? Painting of some mountains. The label reads P.O. Alto. Oh! Doesn't look like anything to me. That was the mountain that Grandpa climbed. Empty seat. Blackboard. That's cute. I didn't even notice the carpet before. Even the carpet has the radius's symbol on it. It's a picture of the members of the radius. empty fireplace. Someone drew a pie in the ashes. I don't want to take that seat because it was the problem of the week. Keeping their minds active. Puzzles posed by Zoller, no doubt. Intriguing. This week it's about the origin of the number pi? Hmm, pi. No. I must prove myself by solving this pi. Radius. Three point one four. Got it. Ah, ah. Okay. I picture it like, oh yeah, she's unrolling the circle. It becomes fairly obvious. I is the key to the circle. Yes. No, I tell you, that won't work either. The Mueller method only works up to a certain point. You never agree with me. Zoller himself couldn't find anything. What have we here? A visitor? You must, for you must forgive me, gentlemen. I hope that what I have written here can be serve as a calling card. A card indeed, sir. That is quite remarkable. General Zala, at your service. And you are? My name is Emil Schnell, from the Friedrich Wilhelm's Universität in Berlin. I thought I knew most of the fellows of the University of Berlin. But please feel welcome, sir, to the radius. You obviously belong. Oh. Um, hello. Smoky Joe over here. Let me introduce myself. My name is Emil Shell. Rauch. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, Herr Rauch. <coughs> What is your field of expertise? Complex analysis. Number theory. A prime combination. Your fields of expertise. Prime. Nope. Are you? I don't want to intrude. Same two. deformed seat. God. What is it? New theory? Oh, um, no. It's nothing. Oh, it is pudding. It's a piece of buttock imprint. Shell, what's so interesting about my chair? Um, nothing. Sorry. Of course it's his. Uh, we're who we talk to later, but... 
Good day, my name is Emir Shell, and you are? Good day, Shell. My name is Stefan Nenner. You said you are from the University of Berlin? Yes, that is correct. So you're a lecturer as well? I teach at the University of Vienna in the mathematics faculty. I look forward to comparing notes. Um, gladly. Oh, Shell. Tell me, do you know many lecturers at the Berlin University? Do you keep in touch with them? Um, some of them. I was always very busy with my work. So do you know Robert Koch? I'm, over, I'm just asking because, never mind why. Do you know him? No, I'm sorry. Oh, that's a shame. Robert Koch. I should look that name up when I get the time. This is important, important for my rules. Okay, so maybe go to the library about him. Uh, do... I have myself attended the Berlin University. Studied under the great Karl Weierstrass himself, a gifted man, and of course me, his best student. That's an ass. I mean, he's clearly an ass from what he did to that chair. There were others. Oh, that Russian woman. Oh, she wasn't even allowed to order classes, but never mind that. I should know of Weierstrass as well. Father of modern analysis, they call him. Weierstrass? I'd better learn more about my colleagues in Berlin. Of course, but... So you see, I'm very selective about the radius's members. I... So, Herschel, are you a professor at the Berlin University? Well, I... Of course you must be. You're probably very new to it. Actually, or a supply teacher. Herzaler. Her... What? What is it? I'd like to talk about my theory. Fine. Let's hear it. Functions of change in conjunction with time and state. Um... Curious. That sounds a lot like my own work. Well... I cannot deal with such distractions this time. I need to work on my own theories. But do ask the other members. They need the challenge. It's cozy. Um, is there anything else to do with uh, this fellow? Ralph. I'm looking for help with my current thesis. Topic? Functions have changed in conjunction with time and states. Hmm. That's my area of expertise. Goodbye. Still snoozing? Still arguing? I guess we just talked to this guy. Ha, oh, I found something. Okay. Yes? Uh, what do you teach exactly? I teach discrete mathematics. I also taught a short lesson on something really interesting a few weeks back. About a process called a Markov chain. Oh no. I try to broaden the horizon of students every now and then with new theories. It's a Markov chain. I'm so glad you asked. No one around here seems to be interested in discussing the theories anymore. The Markov chain, as Markov himself describes it, is a process where one state transitions to another, with the probability of next state depending purely on the current one. It's like a Markov chain bot. Consider a drunkard walking on a numbered line. Each step he either moves forward by one or backward by one. So, next step or state depends only on his current position and not where he has stumbled already. Correct. Very interesting. Uh, let's ask about the other members. Yeah, I hope you're taking notes. I have a question about one of the other members. Who do you want to know? Tell me about Zahler. What about him? Is he the founder of the Radius? Yes, along with Eric and Ralph. I guess Eric's the sleepy one. How did the Radius come to be? Well, as far as I know, Zahler was looking for like-minded people. I was trying to go for a high pitch for him, but I'm drifting into her voice. Sort of elite mathematics, the best of the best. To exchange opinions and theories on all topics mathematical. He had heard about a circle of, radio of mathematicians in London, so he decided to found one himself here in Vienna. His Majesty was intrigued and agreed to fund the Radius, so as long as it led to mathematical progress, uh, I, Elrich and Rauch were quick to join, as were several others. And over time, Vorm and then Nikic, and then I joined as well. Rauch seems taciturn. He wasn't always. He actually has quite a brilliant mind, but he's a horrible teacher. Don't tell him I said that. Uh, about two arguing fellows. Nikic and Vorm. Excuse me? Those are their names. Um, the one on the left is Nikic. They don't seem to get along very well. Don't worry, they fight a lot. Uh, what about? Math, mostly. Who's the man sleeping in the corner? That's Eilrich. The doctor in our circle. Why is he sleeping? 
It was subtle at first. He just fell asleep one time and no one noticed. Now he feels so at home here that he just falls asleep every afternoon. We've known him for so long, we don't really mind. It's like me at Klaus. I'm looking for some help with my current thesis. What are you working on? Functions of change. I'm looking into change states these kind uh missed the tail end of that, my bad. Intriguing, but I don't think I could be much help with that. My focus on discrete mathematics. On moving parts of constant systems. Maybe that's what she's overlooking. Perhaps one of the other members of the radius could assist you? But the Markov chain that you explained before. Is that just a process of change? It's just that a process of change. Just because discrete mathematics is my area of expertise doesn't mean I don't enjoy dabbling in all things mathematical. With varying degrees of success. Ha ha ha. Math jokes. Take care. You too, Shell. Alright. Anything else out of him? A little talk for your distractions. Perhaps one of the other members has time to listen to your theories. Alright, well. Can we leave? Got anything else for me, buddy? Okay. I think we're done. We just steal these plates. Came here looking for help with these mathematicians. I'm not certain they can help. If they can't, what will I do? I hope my masquerade isn't a waste of time. Okay, so we've talked a lot about math at Math Club, but now we are talking about getting the hell out of here. I'd rather use my own at home. Using these facilities might prove awkward. Fair enough. These two again. Ahem. Math junk. Thank you for opening the door. I'll just be a visit with the radius with a rewarding head shell. I could not remember how I was treated. I would not know how to mimic it now. Every change in behavior occurs over time. I should have I didn't even pick up on that earlier, but I figured that was Chivaric nonsense. All right. I'm afraid I don't understand mathematics. You are exactly right. It is mathematics. What is your name? Maurice, sir. Maurice, yes, of course it would be. All majors are named Maurice. Maurice, you are a genius. What? If only my parents had seen that. All right. A little nominative determinism. I guess we can't go into play cards. Oh, I'm getting hungry. I need to get out of these uncomfortable clothes. Quick now. I must write this down. Oh, there's the, oh, all the food we bought is on the table. Cool. Oh, and we'll, we haven't completely changed out either. Days ago I would not have known what the ladies at the cafe expected of me, but now I just now I remember the gentleman who once opened the door for me. My behavior changed, and that change transpired over... Oh. E, T, X. Given parameter, every change occurs with respect to a given parameter. That's it. Of course. That's it. Huh? Uh, I should probably change. What did my reach? Because whoever whoever's knocking wouldn't have seen me. Uh... Oh, I get it. The mirror's there to just double check in case you forget. So should we probably goes hello, Emil. It's the kid. Emma, am I interrupting? No, of course not. Today you look much happier. Today I am happier, Nicole. How are you? The same. I'm always the same. 
Have your parents returned? No, they've gone on to Sweden. Nicole! It's time for your history lesson! History? I hate history. It never changes. Fair enough. I mean, I, technically it does depending on who you ask about it, but... Alright, remind me to get a mirror look as a meal before I, uh... Peace out. Alright, um... an open mind. Alright, so we'll probably just have to cruise around. Alright, we're uncomfortable, but... Okay, we got the hello meal. That's what I wanted. Alright, I want to take a tour as Emma first, and then we'll try it as the meal. market first. Observe a little bit of change. Bargains we got today. Sausages again. Don't hug it up, yeah. More sausages. Raise and read over the screw drawing of a potato at the top. Something seems to cost 99 Heller and something else 2 Cronin. We're getting the mushrooms today. I quote from an animal, I hope. Find some ladies, what yourself? Surely the beach some exquisite ointments, yet? Yes? What exactly are you selling? I sell all kinds of useful things. Kills, ointments, and curiosities. The lady might be interested in these eye drops. They make the pupils of the eyes dilate. It is being very attractive. The lady could certainly benefit. Excuse me? No disrespect was meant. The noblest of intentions. I only wish to help the lady become, well, more. I am not interested. My mother uses such drops, and she nearly went blind. Well, you're not going to buy anything. Please, make room for customers to do. Can't even interact with the pig. All right. Where can I find the next piece of the puzzle? Let's see if they'll let me play cards. Welcome. Cover that book. That's probably one of the ones she wanted to take out. An angry looking man. They're sitting solo. Let's see if they'll let me join in. I'm not sure I want to join them, though I would surely win. I taught myself to count cards in early age, just as a hobby. Sneaky. Alright. Um, if we've got the option to go to work, I guess we'll probably go to work. Gotta get paid for all the sausages we're buying. Alright now, Emma, concentrate. Every change occurs over a given parameter, so to, pre so to preserve a state in that change... I need to know why it's happening, I would think. If I do this... No, that's too general. Alright, try something else. To preserve a state and a change... How it's changing, maybe? 
It is. Do you have? Royd's jokes in their relation to the unconscious? Yes, of course. It should be in the psychology section. What about, um, oh yes. Three essays on the theory of sexuality? There's a waiting list for that one. May I have your name? My name? Oh. Um, never mind. I think he was hitting on me. But, better is just sex nervous. I should try another approach. To reserve a state and a change. Uh, I need to know how it's changing? Hmm. It's a good thought. But I'm missing something else. Alright, try something else. To preserve a state and a change. How are you today, Frau Ragnarchak? I'll be. Hey, Wittgenstein. Oh, hey! I heard about your father. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Uh, you're back from Manchester? Only for a few days. I wanted to return Russell's principles of mathematics and Frege's Grundgesetze der Arithmetik. Are they helpful? I've only read Frege's book. At first I believed the books were in conflict. While I was in England I studied them again and again. I almost gave up on them. It wasn't until crossing the channel, after putting both down, books down for a while, that I began to see the commonalities. I only could find the right words to describe to you what it felt like. Oh, I'll manage. Don't worry about me. Very well. Good day to you. Good day, Herr Wittgenstein. I thought Wittgenstein was more of a philosopher than a math guy, but they kind of overlap. Changing his thinking came from observations. So slow it down. Oh, welcome to the Triangle Zone. First he was too close, but then... He changed his perspective. When did Ludwig see the commonalities between the two books? Uh, on the ferry. I was paying attention. That's it. This change of mind came about in the few hours between Dover and Calais. Change can only be observed in a certain time frame. So slow it down. I need to go home and write this down. Got an achievement for Triangle Tunnel. Um, quickly put these away. Half an hour later. He never borrows anything. Thanks to Wittgenstein, I know how to proceed. I would take a quick romp around town as a meal and then. Wow, stuff. Pardon me. I'm looking for an address. Salva Torgasa 23. Am I heading in the right direction? Yes, you are. The building is just up there. You know someone who lives there? Yes, my niece Nicole. Oh, hey. I visited her a couple of times before. Oh, I, this is the guy. He was the guy who ran the, uh, where we were staying in the first one, I think. But I still get lost in the city. Ah, I know her. Uh, she's my friend. I try to spend as much time with her as I can. Do we? That was very kind of you, madam. I'm so glad Nicole has a friend. Thank you. Please tell me, how is she? Oh, I got an achievement for saying we're friends. Is she happy? You are uncle, you say? To be honest, no. My sister and her husband travel a great deal. Are they looking after her? She's alone much of the time. Alone? How dreadful. Thank you for being so honest. You'll excuse me? Of course, let's go. Yeah, I think he calls her a couple of times. Calls Nicole. That was cool. Did you get my mushrooms? I think so. Hmm. 
two chapters over a given parameter. I meant to add some more stuff to the uh, the board real quick. Then we'll go out. Why are you hiding here dressed like this? Board me. Hmm. Wittgenstein's thinking changed. Question marks. That's the only question. Observe the change in a given time frame. A change can only be observed in a given time frame. Of course, I can only see a falling leaf while it is still falling. Time to impress the radius. Okay, now we gotta play, play, play dress up. Every change occurs with respect to a given parameter. Okay, so parameters and time frame. Those are our axioms. Let's math. I'll probably hit the market again, but I don't really need anything, so I'm not gonna buy more sausages. One can have too many sausages. Okay, the jokes are the same. Sherlock Holmes. Excuse me. Ah, her shell. How can I help you? Do you have something from or about a... Oh, that's right. The the guys... I'm, I, I had forgotten we needed to research these guys. A Robert Koch? Well, let me look it up for you. Ah, uh, yes. We have a copy of the Atology of Tuberculosis. Ooh. The short article Koch published in the Berlin Chemical Weekly. Thank you. I'll just quickly skim through it, if that's all right. Of course. Now we got tuberculosis facts. So Robert Koch is a musician, a physician, a musician. That's the first chapter. The microbiologist. Oh, for his groundbreaking research on tuberculosis, he received a Nobel Prize in medicine. Anything else? All right. Do you have something from or about a Karl Weierstrass? Let me look that up for you. I have several works by and about him. The one most often led, led by us is the fear of the theory of Abel functions. What is it about? Well, I'm not an expert on the math, but it seems to be about some kind of analytical analytical f f functions. Interesting. I might borrow it another time. Certainly. Did any of the works mention a lady student of his? Oh, um, one moment. Surprisingly, yes. A woman named Sofia. K K oh, that's the Russian woman. K K Koval Kovalevskaya. I feel like that rings a bell, but I'm not really a maths guy, so... Honor about... A Sofia Ko Kovalevska Kovalevskaya? I only found one rather recent in the newspaper article about her. Here you go. Oh, an obituary. Sofia Kovalevskaya, aged 41 years. First female professor of mathematics. Beloved mother and sister. That Tuesday morning of influenza. Also sucked back then. Also sucks now. The flu does still kill people. First female professor of mathematics. Uh, anyone else? Never mind. Uh, I'm just browsing. Have a good day. Alright. So we got some facts. Uh changes all around me. I just need to keep an open mind. I feel like we're going to get the same spiel. Uh, let me just check if there's anything to add to the board from uh, re uh, reading the books, and then we'll go to the cafe. And I think I might push off uh, the last chapter till tomorrow. That'll be a good way to wrap up the year. It'll probably, probably only be like an hour.
hour and a half tops. Oh, nothing new. Remind myself. Parameters and time frame. Coke was the physician. Kolovsky is dead. And was studying under the other guy. can I do for you? Here to see the radius. Naturally. Step right through. The radius is already in session. Right. <laughs> Not nerds. The other method only works up to a certain point. Nonsense. You've clearly just made a mistake somewhere. Why you? Again, no one can solve the problem. Oh, shell. Why don't you try your luck with this week's problem? That is making them hotter every week. Well, of course. So, get to it. Shell, surely you can surely you would solve the problem on your own. Fine, asshole. Hmm. We're trying to find correlations between primes. Numerology, not my strong suit. Looks like something out of Fez. Alright, so. Two, three, five. We're trying to find Fibonacci sequence? Five, two, equals seven. All right, so we got a question mark after 19. I like the big one. There's something here. Oh, sometimes these straight lines appear. Almost. As if the numbers have a certain pattern to them. Interesting, I think. I think they do. He's got it. I extrapolate. It is kind of sad that the, the number puzzles mostly just go as far to the right as you can. Is that a new method to find primes? It looks conclusive. So again, gentlemen, I'll guess from Berlin Triumphs. Death of the Germans is with him. Nonsense, our colleague has a gift. It is clear. I agree. It's quite remarkable. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Tell me in your company that I flourish. Is he trying to ridicule us? No, you misunderstand. You might have already. You just didn't notice. I assure you. Even dressed as a man, I'm still getting talked over. Go figure. Go to the hospital, sir. Oh, no. Gentlemen, you... You must excuse me. That's probably not great news. Herr Schell, would you like to join me outside? Some sachet torte and coffee, perhaps? My treat. Certainly. Shell, how goes your research? Three more buys our hypothesis, Nikich. That is hindered made progress. Well, let's hear it. Let him finish. Change behavior always occurs over time. This is a rule I am certain of. Oh, well, it seems quite the universal claim. I agree, yet. Yeah. Wait, if you press start by any other parameter, I'm just the meaning of recurrence in the kitch. Of course, he's a bit generic. Where are you going with this? Indeed, however. However, where well, the general rules uh, needed upon which to base the remaining axiom. This certainly defines change. You certainly changed your tune. What did the triangle say to the circle? You're so pointless. Ugh. 
Like, I know you're trying to pretend you're a man, but the dad jokes are a little much. Huh, I solved it. Empty five place. Someone drew a pie in the ash. I was wondering if it changed based on the new puzzle. Go have some slasher tort and um, a beard. I wish I had such a magnificent beard. Same. Mine grows in weird. Hey, there's the kid. All right. Seems busy drawing something. I don't want to intrude. I wonder if we have to completely play through the interaction again, or with the artist, or not. Mark Herth. Yeah, that was it. Now their sister is terminally ill with tuberculosis. I'm truly sorry to hear that. My father died of it. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. My father always encouraged me, believed in me. I became a mathematician because of him. Because of him. I'm glad he did. I got to meet you because of him. I'm intrigued by your notions of change. States of change and the collapse of such states. I admit I'm struggling with it. I might have bitten off more than I can chew. I don't think so. Just wait until we get our cake. And I'll show you what it looks like to bite off more than one can chew. Jokes! Do you really feel that way? I probably shouldn't mention it, but this is Zahler's field too. But he's a proud man and may be disciplined to disinclined to help. I believe he's begin, beginning to consider you a rival. You might try Aelric. He's done similar work. Every time I approach him, I find him asleep. Ha ha ha. Yes, he does enjoy his afternoon naps. A difficult wall to breach. Would you look at my equations? I would value your opinion. If you like. But I assure you, this is outside my expertise. Thank you, Nanair. You are a good friend. Here we go. Gentlemen, please pardon the intrusion. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Franz Marquert. The artist? Sir, this is an honor. What can we do for you? About your friend here. Herr... Schell. Emil Schell. You must forgive me. But I have been studying you from across the room. Oh? The layers of you are... Con contradictory somehow. Layers? Contradictory? Not at war with one another. But a duality. Changing. And oh, and that plays into the whole change thing. I should have noticed that by now. First I thought one thing, but later I saw another in conflict with the first. Changing, you say? I want, I must paint you. I would be honored. Excellent. You present a challenge I've never faced before. But I promise you, I will capture you. My workshop is at Hallenstrasse 10. So please come at your earliest con convenience. Gentlemen, pray continue your luncheon. In the beginning, he thought differently about me than, than in the end. I must leave now. Go long. I might just help myself to another piece of Sasha tort. It's soccer tort. Oh, that rolls. I need to go home and write this down. I'll probably write it down and then head to the studio. Yeah, the studio hasn't popped up, so let's do a righto. -o. It doesn't help that if it's a table of food I'm staring at every time I come back. The painter. When he first observed me, he thought one thing, but then he changed his mind. I like the wide one. Yes, every change. 
has an origin and a destination state. A falling leaf starts still attached to its branch, and just a few moments later it rests on the ground. Finally, I can put a relation between these states and my theory. Yes. It's starting to come together. I can feel it now. To meet the painter, but not like this. That's better. All right, let's go get painted or run away from getting painted. Later at the artist workshop. Got an achievement for changing. Okay, it just replays what happened in the last one. You see far too much, sir. A few hours later. All right, how are we feeling? Whew. That did not go as I had hoped. Nap time. Days later. It changes a beginning and an end state, but what if I can't see the end? I'll once again do the rounds as Emma first, and then we'll do it with Meal and yeah, then I'll probably call it. And we'll just do a semi-short stream tomorrow to wrap this up. But I'm like, I'm starving. Every change must have an origin. That is unlike the destination, hence a change. No. Oh? The bruh? I'm a member of the radius. Oh, there's no reason for you to know what that is. I'm fairly certain I know what a radius is, Professor Elric. Oh, this is the sleepy guy. You know me? Um, by reputation only, Professor. How can I help you? We have a friendly competition every week. I'm determined to win this one. The mathematics section is six rows down on the right. Did I mention it was a mathematics competition? Do I know you? You look familiar. I sit at this desk every weekday. Though it was someplace else, you remind me of someone. A brother, perhaps? I'm an only child. Mathematics books are six rows down on the right. Oh, well, thank you. Bullet dodged. Okay, same comments. Reading the same book over and over. Not much else to it. Well, it wasn't going... Anywhere, anyway. Hmm. May the radius has arrived by now? Okay, so we're just killing time. haven't changed, although we could talk to her. Uh, we're gonna craft them. So now we have pretzels and craft them. Anything else? Flower vendor? Shalom, my lady. How about some flowers to brighten up these gloomy times? No, thank you. I've never survived long in my hands. I was going to grow some herbs at some point, but I couldn't find the time. Boy, vey! I love it. All right. Hey, you're new. Bruh. Good day. Ooh, good day, madame. Can I interest you in the painting? I... I finished a marvelous painting just yesterday. That surely would flatter a lady's taste such as yours. I call it the woman with a parasol. I have several versions of it. I'll take a look at it by whichever you prefer, or even all of them. that are 150 kron in each. You said you painted that? Of course, madame. I'm a master of the arts. I see. Thank you, but I'm not interested. A shame. Alright, cafe again real quick, then we'll loop back with a meal. 
feel like we're going to get offered a different painting. Stack, maybe I could reflect on my findings with the members of the radius? He wants her to like him. The boys! It's obvious she doesn't. We're not discussing how to change the political system, but rather how to overthrow it. It's the boys! We like the boys. Alright. I think we're good. I don't need that much coffee. Alright, so what are we doing? Oh, if we're done, what do yeah? What if we go back to the library after we've done work? We're done work. Can we talk to the, the, our guy? Nope. Okay. All right. Um, swap it. Market painter. Library. It's on the way. I'm gonna full stop. Nope, okay, it's about the same. We got the squash the first time, but we'll get the potatoes this time. Yeah, this is my chance to get all three, but if we get another shopping day, I'll get a cheek in. Fuck the police, what's the artist want? Buy a gentleman a painting. Here for sale. This one might pique the interest of a man such as yourself. This magnificent painting is called Danae. Most probably would only sell my paintings with Wait. Is that Clint? He's a forger. I meet her quite often. You sure you must have seen her before from a distance. In any case, thank you, but I am not interested. Are you certain? Yes. If you change your mind, know where to find me. Those of Danae will wait for you. My painting sell like hotcakes. Ha ha ha. I don't know if Woman with a Parasol was a Clint painting, but definitely copy and some shit. Alright. Wait, library first. So that's something library instead of library. Excuse me. Oh, I had a show. How good I help you? When we're about. Oh, we're done. Okay, cool. I'm just browsing. Have a good day. All right, let's go do the radius thing before it prompts me again. She's winking in my direction. Hey, get it. I'm gonna try to discuss mathematics. Oh, you're no fun. Oh, the chair just kind of blending into the background. Looked a little weird, like the guy. It uh, looked like the guy was there, but slumped over. All right. No, that's wrong. Oh, show. The others at the hospital again. His poor sister. <sighs> you all right? Don't worry about the cough. It's just the smoke. Achieve for Alpha and Omega. Oh, we're still on Alpha. Mila, I'm sorry. Your theory. I feel so far out of my depth, I'm drowning in variables. Forgive me, my friend. I appreciate you taking the time. Do you have the papers I gave you? No, don't be angry. I gave them to Zahler. He's your best chance. Have you seen the way he studies me now? How many of them do? They watch for every move I make. They want to see me trip up. I'm sure you're wrong. Zoller's gonna steal my theory. I'd like you to address my class. Me? 
But what can I talk about? It's math, you ninny. I would expect you to expound upon the care and feeding of lipids on our horses. Well, will you do it? Um. Yes, my friend. For you, I will humiliate myself before your students. Magnificent. I'll arrange a date for you to speak. Some way I can tell another joke. Um, alright then. He shut me down. That makes no sense. No, oh, you Serbian fool. Can't you see that this equation is solved? Can't you see how the variables are still unsolved? Gentlemen, why don't you just ask Emil here? I'm sure he can end your disagreement with a single stroke. Where would there be the fun in that? Exactly. My god, they've just agreed. They're both right. Here we go again. Oh. First it might be unsolved, but in time it will be finished. That's it. Shell? Shell? What? Sorry. Yes, Elric? This also reminded me of you. I'm sorry. I can't stay right now. But where was it? Possibly it was just a dream. Just a dream. Oh, we got caught. Almost got caught. Heading home. Switching out. It changes the beginning and an end stage, but what if I can't see the end? The whole world is full of math, all within my reach. Alright, my table stuff doesn't seem to have changed. Hmm. Nikich and Ward argued whether the result of the equation was already found or not. So in a given time frame, a change can... That's the only one with anything... added. Collapse? No. Well, yes, but... Ugh. Give time frame of change can... Be ongoing. At the moment of observation, the change can either be final or ongoing. Yes. Falling leaf doesn't stop falling, just because I stopped looking at it. But where will the change lead then? Oh, hey. Nicole! I uh, know what this looks like. Yes. Last few weeks I saw a mister going into your apartment. A lot. I thought you were just having an affair with an impossibly handsome man. I didn't understand why you wouldn't introduce me. It would have been difficult. Ha ha ha. That's for sure. Nicole, give me a moment to change. Then I'll try to explain. Uh. I'm not playing dress up. You're not? Emma? Um, what do you want me to call you then? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's more about, it's more gender than I thought it was. Um. I don't know anymore. On some days I feel like Emma, but on others, like Emil. Hmm, I know. I'll call you M. That's what you both have in common. Haha, mm -hmm. I like that. I wish I could go live with Uncle Leos again. We tried it, but he was too busy running the inn. Yeah, well, okay, so that was the guy from the inn. I'm sure we'd love you for you to stay with him if it were possible. I know, maybe someday. Right? Where are your parents? New York. Nicole, do you understand why I dress as a man sometimes? I think so. And I won't tell. You can't do what you want to either. You can't be who you are. Oh damn, this the totally not a metaphor for anything. Who you feel you are. It shouldn't matter if you have a dream. Everyone dreams. 
Everyone should have the right to make their own... To try and make their dream come true. Look, there's little Gustav. Gustav sighted. His name means warrior. I wonder if he dreams of being a soldier. He can be, if he wants to. Now he told me he dreams of dessert, mostly. Why must only men go to war? I don't know. Time to flip the desk, because this thing smacks of gender. Anyone who's gotten on, on the wrong side of Frau Kuntz there would not want to meet her on a battlefield. I think that's the tutor. There's Miss Durfel. She's a music student. That's the one from chapter one. I bet she dreams of playing in a big concert hall someday. She's the talent women are allowed to have. But did you know only men can be first violin in an orchestra? Ugh. I think we should have lots of dreams. And all of them should come true. That would be wonderful. Wouldn't it? What's the matter? You look funny. What we become. It doesn't have to be a single dream. You're right. In a change. Goodness gracious, in a change, the destination could be a set of states. She's basically deriving, like, quantum theory. Nicole, you're a miracle. Nicole? Where are you? It's time for your sewing lesson. Sewing, yuck. Should be their file ongoing. You just saw it perfectly formed. Remember, destination state can be okay. That would indicate ongoing, I would think. Or, or she did say multiple state. Destination state. Observation can be a set of states. Of course. I turn away while watching the falling leaf. It could land, yes, but it could be picked up by a gust of wind, or disintegrate into dust. Aha. Not too likely, I'm afraid. Oh, Emma, you're almost there. Almost there. Working on some night math. Aw. Kara, I need your help. Your advice once again, dear sister. Ever since childhood, I've, I've relied on you. Oh, she's the brains of the operation. I can't stop now. Is this strange Berliner who we have allowed into the radius? He vexes me. Days have turned into weeks, and he shows no sign of leaving us. And leave he must. He's a cancer eating at our little troop. The other fellow re our fellows resent him. Each time he solves the problem of the week. I can see the contempt for us in his eyes. And now, this. This! Nenner gave me Shell's current research. It's my field, after all. But Shell would never ask me for help. No. It's because you never let me talk, asshole. It's good, Kara. I think I see where he's heading, though. And it is a dead end. I think I could help him, but I hesitate. Why? Because... Because I fear him. I fear he will prove it. He's not there yet. But one day, sooner rather than later, he could cast all of my work in the shadow. I can't allow that to happen, can I? No, you're right, as always. I can't allow it. First, I will appeal to a sense of justice. I may be able to convince him to turn away from this line of research and return to Berlin. If not, I must defend myself. Uh-oh. You understand that, don't you? 
Your brother Gernot must defend his honor. Our family honor. Or go to him. His address is on these papers Nender gave me. Oh! I'll go. Reason with him. And if he refuses to listen to reason? Why, in that case, I will destroy him. I don't think we're going to like the ending of this, no matter where it ends up. Alright, the next morning. Do we get the chance to change or not? know how to pronounce I've never known how to prepare turnips they're like wood ah you cook peculiar I there's a trick you see most people boil the turnips for 40 minutes or so depending on how big they are I leave it at that that softens them up but you aren't done yet if you're not careful they lose their flavor another reason I've avoided them I don't boil I roast damn right I cube the turnips and roast them for the same length of time but there's a secondary step. If you fail to do it, that will still not appeal. I'm not convinced. Just wait, hear me out. When the roasted cubes are soft and golden brown, I toss them with some apple cider vinegar. Ooh, I hadn't tried the vinegar thing. The vinegar locks in and enhances the flavor. Aha, uh -huh. I don't have time for a secondary step. Aha, uh -huh. that sounds like it would take ages. Aha, uh -huh. it sounds. Wait. Change, baby. To maintain the flavor, a secondary change is required. Now you have it. Would you buy one? One. I'll buy two. Three. No, a dozen. Hmm. It's not giving me the option to change. Now, what did the vegetable vendor say? He talked about changing a state. Hmm. He cut them into cubes, but then... No, that's not it. He talked about it. Maintaining a state? Yes. We need to keep the, oh, keep the flavor in. Maintaining. Aha. Uh -huh. Maintain a state of change. Uh-oh. Yep, I couldn't. I, there's no... Okay, thank crap. Nicole, I'm glad you're here. We're gonna cook turnips. Turnips? You know I hate cooking, Emma. Emma? Shelley's. That woman! This changes everything. Uh-oh. I'm glad it wasn't a direct confrontation, yet. I just gotta like rip the hat off or pull some other shit. It's not here. We did a weekly challenge this week because Alan had lost faith in us. Lost faith in you, possibly. Alan knows there will always be a place for an applied mathematician. Emil? Is tomorrow evening be convenient? My class meets at 7. Yes, my friend, I will be there. Oh, music cut out. Time for drama. Shell! I've read your research. It is claptrap. The meanderings of an unfocused illogical mind. You just hand it to me. You're wrong, Professor. I am much further along since I wrote those notes. I can hear the lion song. We've got a title again. I believe I am very close to a solution. Then let us put it to the test, shall we? A debate at the university at your earliest convenience. If you are man enough... I was hoping you could help me with the equation. You are a fraud, Shell. Your hesitation proves it. I am speaking to Professor Nenna's class tomorrow evening at 7. Will that be soon enough? That will do nicely. But this should not be confined to Professor Nenna's class. We will debate in the main lecture hall. How crazy is a debate, bro? One of the worst breeds of man out there. Before the mathemat mathematics faculty and students of the University of Vienna, do you agree? I agree. Why, Zoller? You're wrong to do this. All will become clear tomorrow, Nena. 
and I promise you will be surprised. And then, finally, all will be as it should be again. Oh, so he's trying to shame you in front of an even bigger audience. Oh, the address is on the notes. He's probably paying a visit. Hey! Oh, hey! How you doing? Frau Line. Polish name I forgot, sorry. I like that we're getting little shots of other parts of Vienna. I wonder if any of these will come back in the next chapter. It feels like the chapters have actually been increasing in length as we go along, too. Individually, so that's kind of cool. Emil, I... Wait, she sells the glasses on. You forgot to take off Emil's glasses. He seems to be a friendly enough that... Oh. They improved my division. Oh. Sorry. Your name is... Your name is Emma? Reknicek. The first time I visited the Radius, I was dressed as you see me now. I'm sorry. I remember a brief interruption. A woman. A woman? I don't remember what she looked like. There's no reason you would. It was a woman. Ooh, called the fuck out. Does Aller know? No. No one does except the little girl upstairs, my friend. Will you come in? It... It would not be proper. I don't understand. We are friends. Emil and I are friends. You are Emma. The two of us together in your room alone? It wouldn't be right, but I understand, I think. I also am not what I pretend to be. Are you going through the, with the debate? Oh, he's... He was probably gay. Or he probably is gay for Emil. Oh, yes. I promise you I will be there. Then I hope. I hope Zala doesn't find out. He would crucify you. Aww. But I mean, M seems fluid enough, though. It could kind of work unless he's got a genital fixation. Where is he? Professor Shell appears to be late. I cannot say I'm entirely surprised. However, we will wait in hope of a few minutes more. <laughs> What's that? It is Professor Shell. Shell is a woman? Oh. Living a truth. Professor Shell, at last we see you in your true colors. So, M is preempting his bullshit. Okay. That even is your real name. My name is M. M? Your hand for emancipated? That's that's good. I like that. For a woman. Sorry. I know that young lady. Ha. Ha ha ha. A woman. I am here to debate mathematics, not gender. Gentlemen, I'm sure you agree this fall should be called off. I disagree, Professor. You are a junior professor. You should take care. We just, yeah, get his ass. I'm a professor of mathematics. What we teach, what they came to learn. 
Would you deny them that opportunity? They will learn nothing here from that woman. Then would you deny them the opportunity to learn from you? They want to learn. Let us learn. Get his ass. I defer to my colleagues. Gentlemen, last time I checked, this was an institute of learning. May the students learn. Fuck them up, fam. Gentlemen, to avoid a revolution, I suggest we let the debate continue. I agree. So be it. This ends now. I've read your sorry attempts to come up with a theory of change. Ahem. <clears throat> Maintaining a state of change. Preposterous. Is it? Stick to the work. What you read was incomplete. I could see that, but where your proof was headed, utterly, utterly amateurish. You know what you're talking about? Yeah. Pay attention. Oh, shut up. I will disprove your theory right here, right now. And I will prove it. Let's begin with the foundations of your, dare I call it, paper. Chalk fight. A few minutes later. There's a number of things to notice about change. First and foremost, change happens with respect to a given parameter. So we gotta remember what the stuff was on the blackboard. That's obvious. Yet I don't see it on your side. Imagine a falling leaf. It's falling over time. Get math, bitch. Ahem. Makes sense. She's right. So it looks like he's going to explode. Ah, so that's what she meant. Yes, I knew that, of course. Next step, then. Now hold on just a moment. This point right here. That's a work you have to establish a range of reference. That's right. Has she overlooked that? No, that's where I was going. Yes, that's from my theory. Well, I can't see it here. Only then can you see the states in every change. Stick with the leaf. Leaf? Yes, yes. We know. You're reciting my... At the moment of observation, a change can be final or ongoing. So you're just gonna... And your time is almost up, but the change is indeed ongoing. By the time you finished observing it, it would be final yet ongoing. And that, madame, is what we call a paradox. Range of states. Fuck this guy. Go bad for her. No, M. Oh boy. There it is. Shell. M is a fraud. What happened? Can't be it, I was so sure. I saw it. Right about the base of change. Okay. There must be more to it. Oh. Wait a moment. All right. Bring it back. Now, now. There's a mistake in your thinking. Mistake? Get his ass. Grab him by the beard and slam his head into the desk. You write it like this. Oh, please. You're making a fool of yourself. Change your perspective. See? 
Got an achievement for locus operandi. I suppose one could. Let me move over. Let me check that. Mm hmm. I didn't think of that. He didn't either. It's brilliant. If I stop observing it while it's still falling, the leaf might land on the ground, or could be picked up by a gust of wind. How poetic. Ha! Huh. So you know something about changing. No wonder. You are, you are constantly changing from one disguise to another. What's that got to do with up? Oh, yeah, it's, that's an ad hominem, sir. Wondering what to wear, I bet. Ha ha ha. Terrible, that's not funny. Your little addendum changes nothing. Oh, got him. You're either one or the other. Two states, nothing in between. Or we could just be non-binary. There don't need to be only two states. That's what I've been trying to say. During the observation, a change can be final or ongoing. We can't be certain of all the states, but I can prove the existence of such states. Could you move a little? Huh. She's actually doing it. You can understand her? This is getting it. This is getting it. Oh, this is nonsense. <clears throat> I read your paper. <clears throat> your theory has more holes than a Gouda cheese. Uh, just think of Edom. Edom doesn't have holes either. Usually. Enough of this. At least I haven't encountered. I don't remember encountering any Edom with holes, but I know you can't prove it. Your, your theory is incomplete. Uh oh. You were nowhere close to the proof. The state of change cannot be maintained. Can with another parameter. A well, leaf is the yeah that single leaf's the only one highlighting. So. It can be maintained. <laughs> Fuck him up. Changing from Emma to Emil, and from Emil to Emma. Secondary inverse change. I am Emma and Emil. I am Emma and Emil. I am the proof. This was not the direction I thought this was going at the start. This is great. No. That. That isn't. So, motherfucker. That's a start. Better to do some calculations on that. I see where this is going. They're agreeing again. She's right. I respect your effort, Professor. Without Professor Zoller's help, I would never have arrived at the solution. It's a problem that has haunted me for years. He was courageous enough to risk his reputation and face me in debate in his field. Ask yourselves. How many of you would have been fearless enough to do that? If I were still wearing my top hat, I would take it off and salute him. Now it's time to make peace. Let us be bold in our theories and in who we are. And keep looking for truth with an open mind. Achievement for finishing that is literally non-binary. I love it. I love it. It's too good. We have now ruined the 4th of July. I mean, I feel that there's room for sympathy between them since with the tuberculosis thing and everything. Right here. When I looked through that window, it hit me. At the time, I couldn't fathom what would happen, of course. My theory of change. My own change. So this is where I shall be on. Yes. This isn't easy for me. But 
I thank you for not ridiculing me in front of the fa faculty. You are a worthy mathematician, Professor Reknijek. But enough dwelling in the past. We have theories to postulate, you and I. I can rely on you for that, no? As long as our theories stay real. These wordplays are not funny. Am I being too... irrational? Ugh. Wait. Not to worry. I still have... some more. What have I gotten myself into? I will continue pun punching him to death. Alright, the little parentheses is cute. We did. Alright, give me that load up. Seventy one percent also spent equal time as a meal. Basically swapping between the two for everything. Ninety one percent also agreed to uh, to being painted. Only 47% became friends with the kid? 93% agreed to speak in front of class. I don't know how you would avoid it. Alright, well I'm glad everybody had sympathy for that jackass. And we got the finishing achievement. Like this full game, it has 87 achievements, so there's a lot of paths. Alright, so we got the last episode. Oh, last is in final, not last is in previous. I'm like, yeah, I know what happened in the last episode. We just did it. As the season comes to an end. There's the painter. Revisit the creators. Oh, and M gets to actually uh, go up in that outfit. That's cool. And, oh, and that was the guy on the train. And that's the guy in the portrait for the thing, so. Alright, yeah, we'll come back tomorrow. Probably midday. To wrap things up, but let's uh, check all things again. As we do the credits here, always. Bond's awake this time. Heart squad uh, gets the window seat, delightful. I was appreciative they've all look, looked a little different in um, each one. Missed the additional. If there was an additional library in the last one, I think I missed it. But and we're done. Cool. All right. So 